let's look at question 34. Diagram below shows the stomata found on the underside of the leaf and the gill of a fish. Okay, so let's look at A. State one similarity in the functions of both the stomata and the gill filament. Since the question talks about the function, let us quickly recall. What is the function of the stomata? What is the function of the gill filament? Let's start off with the stomata. So where do we find stomata? We find stomata on the mostly on the underside of the leaf, correct? So there are tiny openings found mostly on the underside of the leaf. What is the key function of the stomata? They allow for the exchange of gases. So are you able to recall what kind of gases are being exchanged at the stomata? They are. The first one is oxygen, right? Oxygen is taken in through the stomata for the plant to carry out respiration to release energy and it releases carbon dioxide through the stomata as well. So the other gas that we're going to talk about is carbon dioxide. Does the plant take in carbon dioxide? Carbon dioxide is taken in by the plant for what process? For photosynthesis to make food. Okay, so what's the last one? What is the last gas that we're going to talk about? The last gas is water vapor. What process is that involved in? Right? Water vapor is lost through the stomata in the process of transpiration. Okay, so we mentioned three gases. The first one is oxygen, the second one is carbon dioxide, the third one is water vapor, and these three gases are involved in three processes: photosynthesis, respiration, and transpiration. Okay, so that's for the stomata. Now let's go and discuss the gill filament. The gill filament is similar to what we learn about ourselves, which is the lungs, right? The lungs allow for the exchange of gases. The gills allow for the exchange of gases as well. So how does having all these gill filaments help? Can you see that there are many lines here? This is similar to the air sac inside our lungs. What is the function of the air sacs? The air sacs increase the exposed surface area of the lungs for faster exchange of gases. So are you able to recall what gases are being exchanged at the lungs as well? Mainly is oxygen and carbon dioxide. Okay, so similarly, the gill filament increases the exposed surface area of the gills for faster exchange of dissolved gases. So why do we mention dissolved gases? Because the fish takes in dissolved gases from the water. Okay, it's not able to take in gases from the surrounding air. Okay, so let's quickly answer part A. State one similarity in the functions of both the stomata and the gill filament. I believe I have mentioned that just now. The answer is that both allow for gaseous exchange to take place. Okay, how about part B? The gill of the fish is made up of numerous gill filaments. So what is the advantage of having numerous gill filaments? That's this one I also mentioned, right? So having numerous gill filaments is like having numerous air sacs. The key thing is about exposed surface area. So we say that the gill filaments increase the exposed surface area of the gills in contact with the water so that they can have faster exchange of dissolved gases. All right, let's go on to question 35. Thank you for watching this video. If you like my discussions, please hit on the subscribe button below. If you'd like to find out more about my analysis of other questions in this paper, please click on the videos on the right. So thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you in my next one.